Hey man, welcome back to Code Review Guru. My name is Light, and we are back on Hacker 101 Capture Flag uh, from HackerOne.com. When you hear any noise, it's my dog in the background. Like he's he's going at it today. Um, but anyway, I actually had to re uh, re shoot this video because I accidentally um, deleted it. So. If I rush through a couple of things, sorry in advance, it's just my third time having to do this. So, um, we're back on Micro CMS version 2. Uh, I know that uh, I posted a third one already. Again, I thought I um, basically, uh, hold on, stop it! Jeez. I thought I had... Uh, posted this one first but I didn't so anyway um yeah again I used the hints for um the micro CMS uh which you know they were pretty good hints well before I go into any of that let me just go ahead and show you the page so the page is basically I you click on here they tell you hey last time you was able to do some stuff this time you're not you had in order to edit and change any pages you now have to log in um so that was that was like dang you know let me see <laughs> so when I went to edit page sure enough you have to edit the username and password so the easiest way in my mind because I knew I was gonna have to do SQL injections right <laughs> There's a couple of uh, hints that they gave you, and you could do this the manual way. I mean, there's a couple of ways you could go about doing this that are a little bit more complicated. Um, I didn't want to do that, so I just did a little research and found that there's this tool called SQL Map um, that you know you can get from GitHub, and you basically uh, just use this. It's an open source tool that basically automates. Um, well, it's an open source pen testing tool that automates the detection and uh, and exploit of SQL injections. So, uh, I basically utilize that tool in order to get the next two flags. So, that's what I'm about to show you right now. So, uh, hold on, he's really bothering me. Let me get my dog. Okay, sorry guys, had to kick him out. So anyway. Um, so once you install a uh, SQL map, which, you know, it's, you just pull from a repository. I'm using, um, Ubuntu, so my, I have a Ubuntu box, so, uh, my path may be a little bit different from anybody who's using Windows, so keep that in mind. So I've already had it pre-installed, and so what, it, what you have to do is pretty much go into the, um, the uh, directory that it is and the first thing oh I forgot you have to before you can even use SQL map sorry guys you have to first first get the post um, request for uh, for this site it it works best that way so I gotta also pull up Burt Suite so I'm gonna pull up Burt Suite and then what I want to do from there is um, type in uh, some random username and password and then log in but I want to intercept that login and save that post request and into a text file and then give it to SQL map to run some code alright so go ahead and get this going like I said I did this a couple of times so I'm running through a lot of stuff. Hmm. I don't need this until the sheet comes up. Uh, so also, if you have um, not already done so, Go ahead and install Burp Suite. I actually have a video on how to do, go about installing and think configuring Burp Suite in my uh, in my other videos. So you can check that out. 
I'm not going to show you how to install it in this video. Just FYI. Alright, so what I have to do here basically is just change the, the proxy settings so that it filters into Burp Suite. Alright, so now that I have that and I filled, I configured the proxy, I'm just going to do test, test, and I'm going to go to proxy, make sure that intercept is on, and I'm going to log in. Don't save this. Alright, cool. So this is what I want right here. Uh, I'm going to go to history because I don't know if I could do it here. I can. Okay. I always go to HTTP history tab and then go from there. But you can take this and right click and then they have like the option to copy the file. And I already did this before, so test. I did. I saved it as test.txt. And yeah, of course the file already exists, so I'm just overriding that file. Again, remember, you need this in order to utilize SQL map. So from there, that's all I really need from that. The next is just going to come from the automated tool. So uh, what I want to do is, and I wrote down the commands. My, um, oh, it's not completely in there, hold on. My SQL map is in my is on my desktop, so okay, cool. Had to pull that to the side. Doing job to see what's on the desktop. <laughs> but anyway, um, I want to do CD SQL map. There we go. So now I'm in this, and so I'm in the folder. So the next thing I want to do is actually run SQL map dash R which is basically the request this is going to allow me to um, utilize the, the file itself so uh, test.txt is what I saved it as and what I want to do is pretty much utilize uh, not utilize I want to be able to see the the list of databases that are um, on this particular site so that's pretty much what this is going to allow me to do. So I have SQL map, dash R, the name of my file, and then hyphen hyphen DBS. So I'm basically trying to get the um, the databases behind this. And I press enter. Uh oh. Test.txt does not exist. It should. Hold on. Let me make sure that is the name of. I should be able to do it right here. Yeah, test that. Oh, okay. I see what happened. Don't have to necessarily CD into the um. The directory itself. So, if you do CD into that directory, you have to make sure the test the text file is in that um, is in the the directory. So it's not in the directory right now. So that's what it's crying about. So I just went up one directory and now I'm about to run it. Cool. All right. And so <laughs> you can clearly see how fast this works. Um, so what it did here is, uh, let me see, went on this post request based on, you know, just some random username and password. That was not uh, the right username and password, by the way. But through that, it basically detected, because it gave it a payload, and it found that there are four available databases on this um on the site and you can actually test and look through all of these databases but the one that matters is the level 2 database so what you want to do is then see what all tables 
are within that database. So in order to, to get the tables, you have to um, then use this next, um, uh, geez, this next command. So uh, you have SQL map hyphen R, the name of the file again, because you have to connect to it again. And then you want to then type hyphen D, which is database. And the name of the database you're trying to look in is level two. And then what you want to do then is get the tables. So you do hyphen hyphen tables. I think I put an extra space there. All right. So with that, now I'm able to see there's two tables here. There's an admins table and a pages table. And that matters. Um, basically, the admins is going to be the login group, right? So, the, well, for the credentials to get in here. So, in order to find who, who you can log into as, you, you can use the admin page. But the pages table, um, let me go back and show you with the hints. So I already found, already uploaded the video for flag one. Uh, this video is for flag zero and flag two. So here it's saying regular users can, you know, only see public pages and you need to get, you know, admin access, blah, blah, blah. So this is really for the admins table, right? You're just trying to get access into the, uh, the site itself to be able to edit and create any pages. So that's going to be for the admin pages. But flag two, where you see credentials are secret, flags are secret. Coincidence? Um, I still don't get that. <laughs> so if anybody understands that hint, please leave a comment below. Um, but let me, let me get off that because I, I realized that didn't make any sense. So. When I saw that, I realized that, let me go ahead and see, because that's one thing I didn't do when I played around with the uh, website, uh, this, this site right here. The one thing I didn't do was some of the tests that I did last, um, the last video where, or um, C CMS version one where I basically played around and incremented and all the other incremented the pages. So when you increment the pages, you find that there's a private page. And uh, that's what I was like, oh snap, there's a private page. So when you go back to uh, the pages table, you realize, oh, so it's holding all the pages and you can essentially get to see one of the private pages in there. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I hope that made sense. So these are the credentials and these are the list of pages. There is a private page on this. So yeah. So now, um, one second. All right. So now what we need to do, we have the pages, I mean, we have the two tables. Now we just need to be able to, you know, get into the admin page. So what we do next is the following. Oh, I did not write down the, um, I didn't write down the, uh, the command, but I believe, uh, it is tables, admins, uh, admins dump. Haha. -ha. Oh, wow. All right. So that's another command. <laughs> I didn't realize that I could dump all the tables at one time, but yeah, cool. All right. I just dumped all the tables. There's actually another cleaner way you can do this. Um, I just didn't write down that command. But anyway, so if you actually dumped one table at a time, you would see the, this first table, admin table has three entries. You have one, one, and one, and then you have Sherilyn, 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 whatever. So 
you have two, well, three usernames and passwords that you can use. And then the next one, all right, so before I even go into that, let me just go ahead and, and show that. So once you get that person, whoever you want to use, username, you go uh, markdown, test, doesn't matter, edit page. Of course, you're going to have to log in. So I think Sherilyn, yeah. Oh, shoot. I forgot you have to right click copy. Boom, that's a flag right there. So I logged in as that person and I got the flag. All right, so the next thing, the next one, uh, I had to log, get out of that. The next one was the pages one. And slide down keep going keep going keep going are they actually see right there but now you see table pages three entries and see a whole bunch of stuff but here you see version two blah 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 so this looks familiar right this looks like when you click on this page this is all the information from this page. So if you keep sliding down, I think page three is actually the page where um, the flag is. Yep. Page three was actually the uh, secret page, and here's the flag. So that's pretty much how um, I found these two flags. This was the easiest way. You can actually go about it. You can find this another way, you can do it a very manual way, doing a union SQL injection, uh, finding the proper uh, script to do that. You can also use uh, Burp Suite with their payloads, but those were just, it was just too much. Um, it took a lot of technical know-how. I didn't say technical know-how, but you had to be um, proficient in probably utilizing Burp Suite's payload, one. And then the second one is just, you know, finding the right script uh well, yeah the right uh yeah the right uh script or the union um sql injection attack to then do get information from it and that's just wasn't what i was trying to do it's going to take too long so you can always use sql map like i said it's an automated tool a lot of pen testers use automated tools you see why you should use an automated tool and yeah um i hope that helps everybody Again, this is my last video for uh, showing how I went about doing um, these penetration tests uh, against uh, Hacker One or these capture the flags. Otherwise, I would just be on the video talking to you about how to go about exploiting the vulnerabilities within Hacker One without necessarily going through the steps. So, um, that. Being said, I hope y'all have a great, a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.